Day to you, eh? It's a good day to be in the kitchen and do some cooking. Ain't that right? So, we're going to start today's episode with another exploration into our imaginations. Picture this! It's Saturday morning. You're craving some breakfast. But you're sitting on the couch watching cartoons. You can't just leave and take extra time to make waffles. You want something quick, so you normally default to a bowl of cereal. What if I told you we could do both? We're gonna make pierogi dough and fill it with cereal and then put it in a waffle iron. So get some flour and some salt. Egg. Give little dad a good spatula. Butter. Yeah, it's fine. And this is cream that's gone bad. Sour cream. Now this is going to be a really messy recipe for your handses, so put them into the bowlses and use them to do the thing. If you're squeamish about getting your hands dirty, don't do this. Oh, this reminds me of the cannoli episode. I feel like a cat. Am I an expert? No. Plastic! Oh, that's the... Oh. So I'll wrap our little darling up and put her in the fridge for like half an hour, but up to an hour, but up to 48. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, we're gonna have to make our cereal filling, which is gonna be debatable. You use your favorite cereal, but I'm gonna use the cereal that I have, which is... Not a sponsor! So we're gonna treat this a bit like cheesecake crust, which... Yep, I don't have to explain that. Where's the thing? What? Oh. So this here is a brat brat. <laughs> and we're just gonna put a lot of this into it. Give it a good brat brat. <laughs> Did you know that oak fiber helps lower cholesterol? So we're just gonna take some of it. Normally, pierogies are full of potato and cheese, and this is not the consistency of potatoes and cheese. So, we're going to add some milk until it gets there. Do two tables. This doesn't work. What if I put this back in the brat brat? It's clumping! This is so weird. What if I create it? It smells like Cheerios, but it feels like baby food. Oh god, this is a sin. So now we just have to put this aside until our dough is done chilling. It's been half an hour. At this point, you're probably thinking, this is a lot of work, why don't I just make a bowl of cereal? To which I say, yep. Anyway, we're gonna take our dough out and we're gonna, ooh, it's so squoogy. We're gonna roll it with a rolling pin to the thickness of very thin. I'd say that's very thin. Now we're gonna get a cutter, and you're gonna cut out a whole bunch of a little pierogies. But they won't be pierogies yet. Rinse and repeat with the extra dough. So now you're gonna take your little soon-to-be pierogi, and your bowl of cereal, because that's what it is, they're just blended, and then you're gonna get a little ball of this stuff, and smack it right in the middle, and then close it up like a pierogi. Ain't that pretty? And then depending if you want to impress your friends, you can fork the edges. <laughs> there. And then just put them on a plate and do the rest. And now we have all our pierogies done. We're going to put them in boiling water for eight minutes. And then we're going to waffle them. So they've been all boiled, which gives them that wonderful pierogi squishy, squishy, chewy texture. Some of them opened. My bad. But now, get your Belgian waffle maker. Give it a spritz. And then just toss these on. Out, this is hot, and we'll just close it up. And hope the fire alarm doesn't go off. I don't know when they're done. Oh, well, that's fun. They're so cute. Yeah, I think these are in need of a cross section. And there you go! Some adorable little Saturday morning cereal pierogies. Now, pierogies, you normally top with like sour cream and green onion, but these are breakfast. And they're cereal, so you could top them with milk, but they're also waffles. So I'm gonna dip mine in some maple syrup. That's really fun. Aww, they're adorable. They're good. I don't have any 
anything to complain about. They were easy, they were good. I think these would be really good with one of those like treaty cereals like Cinnamon Toast Crunch or Nesquik or Frosted Flakes, Lucky Charms maybe, although the marshmallows might melt. Anyway, there you have it. Breakfast Cereal Saturday Pierogies, whatever they're called. That's all I'm going to do this week. I'll see you next week. Follow me on Instagram, at Aaron's Bakery. Keep cooking, stay happy, have a wonderful week. I'm taking these with me.